Welcome to our lecture online. In this example, we're looking at a projectile that's being shot straight up with some initial velocity and it reaches a height h before it comes back down. What happens if we take the same cannon, the same projectile, but now we shoot it at an angle of 45 degrees with the same initial velocity? What will be the maximum height it reaches when it comes to the top of its, its trajectory motion? And how does that h, small h, compare to the big h? Well, again, what we're going to do here is start with the equation that the initial energy must equal the final energy when it gets to the top. And so the initial energy would be initial kinetic energy, because it has no height, but it has maximum velocity. And when it reaches the maximum height, it there the velocity is zero, so there's no kinetic energy, but there will be a maximum potential energy. So all of its initial kinetic energy will convert to it, its final potential energy when it reaches the maximum height. So the kinetic energy is defined as one half, the mass times V initial squared, and of course assuming that this object has mass m, and the potential energy gained will be mgh. Notice of course that the mass doesn't matter because it cancels out on both sides, and in this case, h, let's go ahead and use the big H, because that's the h that it gains. And you can see then, if we solve for h, we have h is equal to v initial squared divided by 2g. Now let's do the same over here. However, what we can do is we can separate the energy, the kinetic energy in the x direction, and the kinetic energy in the y direction. We can take the initial component, the velocity, and divide it into the initial velocity in the x direction and the initial velocity in the y direction. So the initial velocity in the x direction will be v initial times a cosine of 45 degrees, which is equal to 0 0.707 times v initial. The same over here, v initial in the y direction will be equal to v initial times the sine of 45 degrees, which is equal to uh, 0.707 times v initial. And so, since we're only concerned about the motion in the vertical direction, again, what we can say is that the initial, the initial energy in the y direction is equal to the final energy in the y direction. And the initial energy, of course, will be kinetic energy, so kinetic energy initial in the y direction will be equal to potential energy final in the y direction for the very same reasons. We're simply ignoring the energy in the x direction. That will be unchanged because the velocity in the x direction will be unchanged, so the energy in the x direction will remain unchanged, and the energy in the y direction will simply go from kinetic energy to potential energy. So the initial kinetic energy in the y direction is equal to one half the mass times v initial in the y direction, which is v initial times 0 0.707, and that quantity squared, and that will be equal to mgh. Again, notice that we have the m's canceling out on both sides. When we square this, we get one half v initial squared times one half because 0 0.707 squared is one half and so this is equal to g times h and if we solve for h we get h is equal to v initial squared divided by 4g now let's compare the h we got here compared to the h we got there notice that h is equal to v initial squared divided by 2g and here h is equal to v initial squared divided by 4g you divide by twice as big a number, that means this is half the value over here. So in conclusion, h is equal to one half the original height if we shot the cannonball straight up. So you can see that in projectile motion, with an angle of 45 degrees, you only need to reach half the height you would gain if you shot it straight up. And that should work for any projectile since the masses do not matter. And that's how it's done.